Hello, welcome. This topic we're going to discuss now is all about asthma. Asthma is a serious respiratory condition which occasionally suffers the onset of restricted passages in the lower airway. This makes it more difficult for the person to breathe. Knowing how to treat someone who suffers asthma will greatly assist them in being able to breathe and make their journey through the process of breathing that much easier. There are two steps in the treatment of an asthma, asthmatic attack. The first one is the use of the reliever inhaler. This is commonly referred to as the blue-gray reliever inhaler, which has a medication there which opens up the lower airways and makes it more easier for the person to breathe. I'm sure you've all seen someone use one of these puffers before. You take the blue cap off the bottom of the uh, puffer inhaler, the casualty then places the uh, puffer inhaler in their hand, place it into their mouth and they push the top and inhale the uh, medication. They should take one puff and then inhale four breaths and then repeat the process. They wait four minutes and repeat the process again. If the signs and symptoms of the asthma attack do not dissipate over this time, they should seek medical advice and further treatment. Taking the medication this way is not the most effective way to deliver the medication. Delivering the medication this way only allows about 10% of the medication to end up in the lungs. However, we can improve the effectiveness of the medication through the use of a device called the spacer. This spacer increases the effectiveness of the medication approximately eight times. By the delivery of the medication through a spacer, we now allow 80% of the medication to end up in the lungs. To use the spacer, we'll get the uh, puffer inhaler placed into the, the rear of the spacer. The spacer itself is this small cylinder component here. We have another attachment on the end which makes it easier for the adults to use. There is a smaller attachment which the babies and children can use as well, but we are now using the one with the adult. The uh, device on the end is then placed over the casualty's mouth and nose, and then they inhale the medication, they place, uh, push the medication down, and then they inhale the medication. Using the spacer, as I previously mentioned, 80% of the medication will end up in the lungs, which will allow their lungs to, and especially the bronchial tubes, expand and make it easier for them to breathe.